Chemtrails are a key element in the whole thing because they're obviously a way of uh, putting a highly reflective material into the atmosphere. With cloud seeding, the cooling will be achieved by making clouds reflect a bit more sunlight back to space than they would otherwise, and less sunlight reaching the surface would tend to cool the planet. So let's say we were doing geoengineering because we wanted to make uh, the weather a little bit better. So we just saw a clip of the documentary, What in the World Are They Spraying by director Michael Murphy. And um, it's something that I've been getting into a lot. A lot of my friends, when I bring stuff off like weather modification and geoengineering as, and the word that most people know it as, chemtrails, they want to put a tin hat on my head. But I hear you on all the podcasts. You were like the first guy to start bringing the, this up. And, and you've seen the documentary. It's basically about... Um, you know, there are theories as to how much they're doing this, but we know that they are doing this. They're trying to modify weather. They're trying to seed clouds by putting things like silver iodide, basalt, and other chemicals up in the sky. Now, some people are like, uh, no, that's not happening. But then you see planes literally putting a whole trail that spans from one horizon to the other so that the entire staff rolls their eyes whenever I bring this up. So I want you, back me up. I what is know. going Personally, on? Personally, this stuff... You saw the documentary, This stuff right? freaks me out. I mean, it's just like... Once you control the weather, you control our food supply. I mean, I, I don't know. A, a lot of the science just is mind-boggling to me because there's, you know, there's it gets really, really complex. But right. yeah, I'm really interested to hear what. And how did you? Because you were the first person to start bringing this up in like the general podcast stuff. How did you get turned on to this stuff? I know you're a big conspiracy theorist. That's one of the one of your other things. Yeah, I don't remember exactly how I first heard of chemtrails, but at first, like everyone else, when I first heard about it, I thought. You know, someone, someone said, look what they're, sp they're spraying in the sky. They're making these clouds. And I thought, isn't that just v vapor? Right. Yeah, vapor isn't that coming? just a regular? Yeah, and that's what I thought. That's what and I, I thought, thought these it was. Yeah, I thought people were crazy. <laughs> what do your fans think about that? I mean, you know, you're, you're putting your music out there and you're known as a jujitsu expert when you start to talk about these things that, as you said, like many people just think is just some crazy conspiracy theories. I mean, how do people react to that? How do they respond to you when you talk about those I, things? I don't know what it is. There's, there's an... There's something inside of me that compels me just to tell as many people what I know, and it, I'm a human being. I'm, we're all living on this planet. I have a son. I want to be wrong about the stuff they're spraying in the sky. I want to. I wish it was all benign, all the stuff that they're spraying. I wish that the chemicals that they're finding in these tests. I wish those were were hoaxes. I have a son. I don't want this to be real. The, yeah, the sky. I don't what are you streaks doing? like that going across? Well, you know what? Spread We're going to be right back uh, with a goodbye and a little bit more of Eddie Bravo. <laughs>